Hello, welcome to today's video. Today's video is about technology and the camera industry. Trying to create the perfect shot with image stabilization is key. A lot of videos, including mine, sometimes when they're filmed, the camera's really jerky. And today's video is about a device that I got to do a review on that works not only with iPhones, our other phones but also a GoPro our similar style camera so stay tuned and if you're not into that stuff have a good day all right today we're going to look at the UO Play Gimbal that was sent to me by AI Bird. The basic things I brought with the gimbal today are the weight. The weight is needed if you have an iPhone 6, one of the bigger phones, and this is the remote control. If you want to control it, press the power button. The red light will come on. Press it again. And now it's on. and then up and down tilts the screen. Now this thing's actually controlled by Bluetooth as well. So once you get it connects, so if you want to record, you can press the button and you can see right there it starts recording. Press it again, it stops. All right, let's have a look at this gimbal and you can see just what exactly it does. So when you're walking, it's going to keep everything stable. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the record, and I'm gonna move the gimbal around. As you can see, the stabilization. is not limited to iPhones so you could use a GoPro as I'm using a GoPro clone all you gotta do is once it's powered up press the right trigger three times and it goes into vertical mode and I'm just gonna shoot a little clip right now with my GoPro clone so you can see just how well it works one thing I do like that comes with this gimbal is an extra set of batteries and of course a charger because Nothing is worse than being out somewhere and your batteries die. And all of a sudden, you know, you got the shot, you got the perfect shot, but you don't have any other batteries to make it happen. So that was smart planning on their behalf to put some extra batteries in with this kit. Now I did try the gimbal out with the Olympus camera that I'm filming with right now. However, there's a couple problems with it. The Olympus camera is a little on the heavy side. And also where the lens placement on the camera is not in the right location so when I'm filming. See I can get it to work like this but the problem is if you see in the screen is how I hold it that bottom part of the gimbal comes up but otherwise like this if I'm careful I did find that the servos were getting a little bit warm so Unless you have a camera that weighs about the same as an iPhone 6 Plus, I would probably avoid using well, it. I'm just on this trail right now and this trail is going to continue going down. So let's use the gimbal in a real life situation. So I'm not using the external mic or anything. This is just raw footage from the iPhone. The iPhone does actually take pretty decent video. And I did have to use it in Cuba when my Olympus camera took a swim, even though it's supposed to be waterproof. But right now I'm going down the hill. Once I get down, I'll turn it around so you guys can see.
Oops, I'll pan up. Yes, yeah, so that's where I just finished walking down. See, the thing with these gimbals, yet yeah, there's a huge price difference. There's the one I'm holding right now in my hand with the case retails on Amazon for close to 300 and it holds like the GoPro cameras and the iPhone 6 what I'm obviously filming with however the next step up which will hold pretty much any camera starts at around $1,000 so that's kind of the situation that you're dealing with here I mean I'm pretty happy with this thing Especially when I'm going out hiking, it's so hard to film because once your body starts getting tired, you know, your hands get a little jittery. And at least with the gimbal here, I can just move along and everything will be smooth as pie. These are the kind of trails I love hiking in, surrounded by bush. So I'm gonna leave the video here for you guys to decide on yourself whether or not something like this would be worthwhile for you, especially if you are an outdoorsy type person like me or something like this definitely could come in handy. Improve my video quality when I'm out in the bush. I have the DJI Osmo, as a lot of you guys know. The problem I face with that is, is that I get a lot of electronic interference and DJI tries to pass it off as a memory card issue which is not the problem are switching between the Wi-Fi frequencies which is uh, I think 2.4 or 5 are the two frequencies and I use both frequencies and I still suffer problems with noise but if I don't have my phone near it because you need the phone to see what you're like doing and I think that's the biggest drawback with it so if I don't have my phone near the Osmo there is no interference however the problem being then is that I have to hold my phone out somewhere plus hold the Osmo which is kind of a pain in the ass for this I could put a GoPro in or my iPhone 6 like I got. I just cruise along the trail here and vlog and talk about it. Well, I'm gonna let the video speak for itself on the gimbal. I wanna thank AI Bird for sending me the gimbal to do a review on. It's gonna come in handy in the future in a lot of videos. See so if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I wanna thank you guys for watching.